Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to thirty-five. We look at the sun, a huge ball streaming out essentially limitless energy into space, and we think about how we need that energy here on Earth. Our oil reserves are running out. Coal burning causes much pollution, and nuclear energy has many dangers. But where does the sun itself get its energy? The answer is that the sun makes it using fusion, or more specifically, in a hydrogen fusion process. There is no pollution, no radioactivity, no waste products, and we have plenty of hydrogen. So hydrogen fusion seems the perfect answer to our energy needs, and scientists have long attempted to achieve it here on Earth. So what happens during this process? The first step is to make two light atomic particles approach. In the case of our sun, these are hydrogen particles, the lightest and also the easiest to deal with. However, the problem is that the nuclei of atoms have electric fields, and fusion between these particles is opposed by their similar electric charge. They most naturally repel each other, and the nuclei of all elements are exactly the same in this respect. Thus, in order to overcome this repulsion and force them together, in the second step, the particles are heated. The trouble is, you need a lot of heat, incredible temperatures of the sort only seen on the surface of the sun. This is many millions of degrees, far higher than the melting point of any known material. Still, the concept is simple: the hot, wildly moving particles, which are now called plasma, will crash into each other, resulting in the third step: the fusion into helium, which releases energy and begins a self-sustained process.